Hey, what's up guys? Kitsai here for a demo shoutcast for Heroes TV. And here we can see Kelvin Chung's game battling against random people from the game. We're gonna be taking a look, we're gonna be fast forwarding just a little bit in here where we can see this match between Kelvin Chung as well as our friend from the enemy side. So I can three Chinese, so we'll just call him enemy. So let's just have a quick recap of the lineup that they have in here. So for Kelvin Chung, we can see Balsar, Dart, Hunkin, Wukong, as well as Lana. But for the enemy team, we can see Ragnar, X, Hunkin, Carla, and Lana. So we can see a snake as they we can see the snake as their first boss to encounter later on but taking a look at their lineup both of them has actually good tank in the form of ragnar as well as dart they have good support in the back line too which is lana so it's pretty much balanced in terms of how they've actually built their deck but i think i'm liking how um, our enemy team in here have actually positioned his heroes in a lineup. You can see Ragnar being in the front of the lineup and we know Ragnar is actually one of the good tanks in the game. So as is Dart too actually, but actually I would have preferred Dart to be in the front line rather than Balthazar because we know Balthazar is actually quite squishy. So as you can see, it's kind of like being very easy for our enemy team in here to actually just delete it from the map. And at the same time, look at what Honkin is actually doing. Honkin, he has percentage based damage, you know, just dealing a lot of that. And he's doing a great job in terms of clearing off the minion waves. Well, if we take a look at it on the side of Calvin Chu, he's having a tough time clearing that that wave in the front line. And again, we know Ragnar, he's pretty tough one, you know. Ragnar, of course, got some heals. He's got AoE taunts, so at least those in the back line can actually deal some free hits. So he's doing a good job so far. We're at the wave four. As of the moment, you can see he leveled up. Um, he leveled up in here, uh, Pumpkin as well, and prioritizing the damage too on the side of our enemy team. But yeah, he's doing a lot of good wave clearing here, and I think that is contributing a lot. But let's take a look at the side of Kevin, Kelvin Chung. Uh, in here, he's definitely having a tough time with regards to Balthazar being in the front. I mean, you know, Balthazar being very squishy, way too squishy. But let's take a look at how they're actually managing the boss. So again, as you can see, there's just so much damage being put out by Hunkin coming from the side of the enemy team. And this snake is already less than half-life, but in trouble is off the moment. Oh, look at that. And I think the 20% base damage actually helped a lot but then again kelvin chung managed to survive we'll be able to escape the wave but we got silencer already in this next round let's see how this one will go and again take note of that we've got a level three ragnar we've got a level three hunkin that is damage and that is tankiness at the same time meantime on the side of kelvin chung we haven't seen any as of yet being leveled up except for the Hunkin, which I think this is something that Kelvin Chung needs to really catch up for. So if you take a look at that right now, Kelvin Chung is having a tough time in actually taking down Ragnar, which is actually level three. And you know, again, I, I'm seeing this as a waste. Dart actually being in a second in a line. Oh, my goodness and there we go let's just go back a little bit apparently kelvin chung didn't manage to to end and clear off the waves because of the very very tanky ragnar so there you go don't you worry if you're a fan of kelvin chung this is the best of three match so definitely he will still have the chance to make it up later on maybe he will be able to like plays the tank in the front line later on we'll have to see but for the meantime this is your shoutcaster kaisaya hope you enjoyed the battle we'll be right back after a short break